Hi, I'm Commander Chris Hadfield, and this is GVIC 2018. You guys want to be successful, that's why you're here. That's why you spend time at events like this, that, that's why you're at school, you want to be successful. When you do your thing and when you show up and you leave, what do you think people are thinking of you? You can change, you can evolve, you can grow. Because how you're gonna to choose to show up today versus how you're gonna to choose to show up five years, 10 years from now, is gonna be different. When you have courage to do the thing that you don't feel good about doing, as a result of you doing that, you're going to become more confident. Caring about what people think and being strategic with what people think is going to be the difference to your success. Technology has really assisted it make a little more level playing field. We're not there yet, but I think technology has helped us get there. As an engineer, you'd always have to have a process of constant learning. So you have to look at the resource, see how it attracts you, how it talks to you. Critical skill for you is to be able to build good relationships with other people. And relationship building is based on respectful communication. These are key qualities that are going to make you successful throughout your career because it's not about being successful the day you come in. It's about being successful for a long period of time. With the network, you're talking out loud, you're thinking out loud and learning and sharing information out loud and testing your ideas, and that's how you learn and grow. But as leaders in the field for tomorrow, you have to also have a social responsibility where those decision points have to come. And we have to do that as a collective community. I love the fact that I walked in here and I see so many women, so many different faces, people from different backgrounds. It's beautiful. I think for a number of reasons, there's still a temptation to sort of edit some part of yourself. Just put it all out there and people start to understand the value that you can bring no matter what. There's no one way to think about something or one way to approach a problem. And it took me a while to realize that there's value in having a wide range of diversity. I kept trying to remind myself that I have so much value to add because it's, it's a different perspective. My advice is also, it's gonna to be to the men in the room. I encourage you, when you leave here today, to continue the discussions and also try to recognize the role that you play in making a change and supporting women and other um, identity groups exi that exist in workplaces. Age doesn't matter at all. It's literally just a number. Instead, it's your willingness to put in the work, your diligence, and how passionate you are about something that's going to help you achieve that success. Look at your communities, your friends, your family. What are the different problems that both you and the people around you are facing, and how can you use your knowledge to solve them? Humans started developing different languages. We created the steam engine, and we got the telephone, a light bulb, a telegraph, a car, and we even got a man on the moon. That guy, Neil Armstrong, just like every one of you, holding on to your dreams right now, studying, changing, working, thinking about who you're gonna be, he had turned himself into somebody who could fly that little ship, the little eagle lander, and take it and land it on the moon. I think it's important, number one, to have long-term goals. Otherwise, how do you decide what to do next? But do not wait until like graduation or, or something to celebrate all the stuff you're doing. Stop waiting for other people to tell you when you've been successful. So I think one of the things that entrepreneurs don't talk enough about is how often you need to fail to really be successful. Your life is 80% failure, 20% successes. 
The nice part is that sometimes those successes can be so mammoth, it can outweigh it. And big corporations do such a bad job of talking about this because when they talk about innovation, they always talk about big ideas. Like, is your idea big enough? <laughs> Being an entrepreneur is 95% execution. And all of that execution, that becomes your iteration. That becomes all those experiments you're running. And I'm telling you, when you run enough experiments, you actually do find true innovation. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, what really impressed me was that this brought together three faculties from Ryerson University, namely uh, the Business School, FCAT, and Engineering. And I really applaud you for that because breaking down the silos and working together and, and getting diversity of thought, working on problems, I think is, is extremely important. Every human being has two major differences. What we have here and what we have here. But what we have in our head is also depending on us, on our education, on our determination and our discipline. And also what you have here, try to be a good person. Try to help other people. And remember, you are the future of our country. I will meet the Governor General, who is the first astronaut in our country. And I will invite her to the next George Wari conference. Remember, you can do it.